Hi YouTube. So it's about time we paint the overcarriage. But first I have to mount the uh, missing parts. So let's get to it. So this is the screw cylinder mount. This is where I mount my actuator. Uh, this is to lift the boom and it's supposed to be in here. So I'm gonna have to put a threaded rod through here so that this gets in the right position. And then I'm going to plastic weld it with my soldering iron.
Well, I'm pretty sure that's everything mounted up for the overcarriage. And now I can start putting some paint on it. Just a quick uh, run through of the first layers of paint. Now I painted the uh, uh, lockboards or the top floor <laughs> yellow. I'm, I'm going to try to mimic the real machine as much as I can so So far it's looking pretty good, um, now there's uh, a couple of things I have to do before I continue. There's supposed to be a light here and there, so I have to take off the cabin and the steps in order to get to these. So I'll do that now uh, and then we'll continue afterwards. So here you can see this is uh, this is a channel for the wires to go in and the same on this side. So the lights are in.
that we have finished most of the paint, I was thinking we could uh, start adding the, the guardrails and stuff on top. So here's the safety rails for the overcarriage. We're going to put them on now. First I have to separate the parts. So unfortunately these parts don't fit too well so <laughs> I'm gonna have to use my cutting knife to trim these bits a bit so that they fit. carriage is almost completed. Now I'm going to start printing the arms and of course the bucket. Alright so that's it for today. I'm going to end the video now. Uh, the parts for the arms they will probably take a little longer to print so the next video might not come out as early as the other ones did. Uh, I still have to do a little uh, more design on the arms before I start printing, so that's why I haven't even began printing them yet. So, anyway, see you next time. Bye bye.